What's up guys and welcome back to another man versus deer video in today's video We're covering my new Reinhardt archery target. We're doing a review I'm talking about what I like and what I don't like. Let's get after it This is probably one of my bigger bucks to date guys. I cannot believe that, that actually worked Looks like a double long shot It was hot really hot. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out a man versus deer video. I primarily do hunting videos and more specifically catch clean cook style hunting videos where I show everything from start to finish. If you guys are into that thing, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing. Today's video is all about archery targets and specifically it's about the Jimmy Big Time target from Reinhardt. Now a little bit of a backstory. The reason that I ended up here is because I've always shot and bought very, very low caliber archery targets. Foam ones that wear out really fast, uh, the legs connect to the body and they're really rickety when you go to pull your arrow out. Uh, they don't like to pull out <laughs> without the body leaving the legs. Uh, the other day I was in my backyard and I was shooting a target, as I'm describing, and the middle had worn out enough that my arrow went completely through. And as it went through that target, the back of it skipped out arrow went into the field, lost that arrow, and that's the second time that that's happened with a target like that. And then when I went up to it to get my other arrow out, when I pulled on it where the body connects to the legs, they always try to separate. And because of those reasons, I started searching for a higher quality target, and that's where I ended up here. I've shot a lot of Reinhardt targets throughout the years at various archery shoots. I know they make a quality product, but I was trying to balance getting something that was really high quality but also budget friendly. And that's where I ended on the Jimmy Big Time Target. So today's video is gonna be basically a review. We're gonna do an unboxing of it. We're gonna put it together. I'm gonna shoot it a bunch of times, and then I'm gonna tell you guys my honest opinion of this target. So before I jump into the unboxing part of this video, I wanna cover two more things. One is the price point on this, and uh, the price on this was $242.80 after taxes got it on amazon and it is on the lower end of reinhardt's pricing they have targets that go all the way up into the thousands of dollar range you know and so i was really trying to balance uh, budget for value and i think that the jimmy big time is going to be where that sweet spot is if it holds up to the reviews i read a lot of reviews about this thing prior to buying it the other thing that i considered is the target size i wanted to get something big enough that it wasn't going to wear out super fast and, and give me a lot of shooting area but small enough that i wasn't uh uh, doing bad practice. I, I really have an aim small, miss small mentality, and I wanted to have something that was very close to the size of the deer that I'm going to be shooting at, and I think this is going to be in that sweet spot as well. With that being said, let's get to the unboxing part of this video. Okay, so first impressions on this thing. It's kind of what I was expecting. I read, I read a lot of reviews and I knew what to expect when I was uh, ordering this thing. Size-wise, I am 175 pounds. I'm about 5'7", and this is uh, how big this thing is on me. Uh, in my opinion, it's about the size of a yearling doe. It is nowhere near the size of a trophy buck, so if you're wanting a bigger target, don't buy this one. If you're wanting uh, one that's in the realm of the size of a deer, uh, buy this one. Uh, I like the targets a little bit smaller, like I said earlier. I, I like to have an aim small, miss small mentality. I think it kind of forces you to become a better shot. Um, so this is right up the alley of what I was looking at. As far as uh, the target itself goes, it seems to be decent quality. I'm sure if you spend, you know, a lot more money, uh, the entire Reinhardt would be made out of kind of what this insert is, which is this softer material here, <coughs> because the uh, the other material feels like it's going to be murder to get an arrow out of. But as long as you hit that insert, I think arrow removal is going to be pretty good. Um, and quality-wise, this thing definitely isn't bad. I like that it's all one piece. I like that it doesn't connect uh, at the legs because when you go to pull an arrow out, a lot of times the target will want, will want to separate here. 
As far as assembly goes, this thing was really easy. You basically had to slide the head on and uh, run a pin through the antlers. The antlers are a little bit loose. That's the only thing I can say about this thing, but honestly, I, I don't care a whole lot about that. I wanted an insert that wasn't gonna wear out super fast, and I think in this target, I have exactly that. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing piece. Um, let's get this thing outside and run some arrows into it. Okay guys, setup on that wasn't too bad. We're gonna put a bunch of arrows in this thing. I'm gonna put some in the insert, hopefully on purpose. We're gonna put some outside of the insert on purpose. We're gonna see how easy the arrows are to pull. We're gonna see how solid this target is. Let's get to shoot. All right, guys, so that is this target in a nutshell. It's a pretty decent little target for the money, and uh, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I'm gonna start with the things I did not like about this. I'll talk about the things that I liked about it, and then we'll kind of close the video out. So what I did not like about this target, one, the antlers right here are a little bit loose. Um, there's just a big gap in the back, and it seems like they could have fit a little bit tighter, in my opinion. Just nitpicking, though, that's not something that would cause me not to buy this thing. Two, the rebar, you really have to leave it pounded into the ground. Uh, I don't want to leave this thing out in the weather. I don't want squirrels to be chewing on it. So in between uses, I'm going to be putting it up in a shed. And in order for this thing to really be available fast, you have to leave your rebar spikes pounded into the ground and then you just slide this thing over. And whereas that is really easy. If you have little kids running around or you catch one of those rebar spikes with the mower, it's gonna be pretty devastating. So that's a little bit of a drawback in my opinion, although I think for a target like this, it is a necessary evil for it to be very, very stable. And the last thing I didn't like about this is when you shoot an arrow into this part of the target, it removes very, very easy. You shoot an arrow into a part of the target that's not the insert, and you can get it out, but you're gonna work for it. It, it was tough to get it out. Um, the things I liked about this target, one, I think it was priced very, very well. Uh, compared to a lot of the other Reinhardt targets, this one is a steal at 240 bucks. Second, the size of this thing. It's not overly big, it's not overly small. It's gonna be easy to store. It's the perfect size to shoot. I think this is gonna make me a better shot. And uh, I, I, I just think all around, this is about the perfect size for what I was wanting to use it for. And three, arrow removal. You put an arrow into this insert, you can take it out with one hand very easy. Uh, and the last thing I'll touch on is stability. A lot of times when you go to take an arrow out of a, a regular archery target where the legs connect to the target, it tries to come apart right there. Well, this thing is all one piece and it's held in the ground by rebar. So when you take an arrow out, if you just stand in front of it, the direction you're pulling, this thing is pretty rock solid. And then uh, the, the absolute last thing, I know I, I just said that. The last thing I'll touch on is durability. I probably put 15 arrows into this and this is a self-healing target, you can't find one of the arrow holes. Um, so I think this thing is going to last a super long time in terms of durability. Well guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I really hope this video helped you out. If you were thinking about a purchase on this target, I hope this uh, helped you make up your mind one way or the other. Um, a lot of the other content on the channel is worth checking out. I got a lot of hunting videos. I got a lot of catch, clean, cook style videos. There's one video in particular that's going to show as this video closes, closes and the title of it is Schwack, and it's about an early season doe kill. The footage on it is great. It's, a, it's got a pretty awesome storyline to it. Um, if you like watching deer hunting videos, I would suggest you give that one a watch. But again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Good luck in the woods.